all you creatives. How are you today? This is day 34 of our daily creative practice, and this is going to be so much fun. You remember our watercolors from day 32? Our little bunches? I went ahead and created some more after we got off of our video. And today I'm going to talk a little bit about the art term that's called doodling. Doodling is drawing absentmindedly or idly drawing like that. And that is one of my favorite things to do. I doodle all the time. If ever I've got a pencil in my hand, I'm probably doodling some. Hey, I want to get in here and take some of these gel pens, these wonderful new gel pens I bought in all these delightful colors, and just come in and play a little bit with our designs that we made last week, our little branch leaf designs, and just add some fun to them. So let's just dive in here, and these are brand new pens. They are by Papermate, and what I want to tell you is there's just a little uh, protective thing on the end of these when you buy them, so you kind of have to scribble on something to work those off, but other than that, here we go. So I'm just going to come in here and just very loosely do some drawing around our little drawings that we did the other day. So we can outline them. Very freely, very loosely. We can play in them. Here's one that I kind of messed up after I had uh, painted it. It looked pretty good and then I came in while it was still wet and put my hand on it and it just turned into a big blob. So I'm going to come in and maybe give that a little more form again. If I can do that. Again, I'm not overthinking it. I'm just playing with it. And we can add some dots and swirls and all kinds of different things in here. Get this little polka dotted look. That's kind of cute. And give some polka dots on the outside of it too. That's kind of cute. And let's go up here. Some of these bigger ones you might be able to see a little bit better. Let me get some other uh, of our pins. And what do I want to do in this one? I think I'm going to give it some lines. Just give some veins in here to our leaf forms. That kind of looks cool, doesn't it? I really like that. This one's so unusual that I think I want to play that up and bring in here and do some fun things. Just put some dots around. And just don't ever think it, just have fun with this. And we can come in here and just scribble, since it's going to be Valentine's Day, we can scribble some more little heart shapes in here. Just kind of pretend like you were in school and you were loving doing what you do or you're thinking about not what the teacher's trying to teach you, and you're just doing your own thing. <laughs> That's kind of what I did when I was young. Oh heck, I'm still doing my own thing. So I'm loving these little freeform things. Those always make me happy. I'm going to kind of extend these out like this, I think. Make that kind of a fun little thing. Some 
balls on the end. Oh yeah, that's kind of cute. I love that. And the little ones. I can just come in and do some dots and grips. Dabs. And I got a green. Let's see what I can do in this one. Oops, that has the tip still on it. So let me just kind of circle that one. Just making very loose circles in here. thing to do is not it? just have fun. Bring some little swirls around here. Kind of enclose that. That's kind of cool. Love that. Bring some orange in. right or wrong. This is your sketchbook. It's your journal. It's your play space. It's your create space. So I think that's fun. Let me bring these up closer and let you look at some of them. Love it. Love it. Love it. I've always, like I told you before, always been afraid of watercolors. I've always been afraid to play and work with them because I couldn't make those beautiful things that I saw out there that watercolor artists were making. And it was so fun because I talked to my granddaughter this weekend and she went on my um, YouTube account and played with the dip dot flowers. And she did such a beautiful job. And then she came in and she made some scribbles around hers and just made them look so darn cute. I just loved what she did. So I think you can get in here and play for your 20 minutes today and see what you can create and go ahead and gesso your next spread in the book so we can be ready for tomorrow, whatever we're going to get into tomorrow. I think we're going to play a lot with watercolors this month. I'm really enjoying that, and I really just want to explore that more and more and more. I just want to make things, and I just want to become comfortable with the medium itself and, and learn by doing. That's uh, this art, artistic, creative brain of mine. That's the best way for me to learn is just do and play with it and practice with it and have fun with it. And that's what I encourage you to do. So get your 20 minutes in today. 20 minutes a day in 2020 is all you need for us to spread this contagious creativity we're doing. So for now, get into your contagious creativity and pass it on. This is Rebecca. May joy be with you all.